Hi Bo Bakers! Three Ingredient Cookies was one of my most popular and biggest videos of 2017. Now that it's a new year, I have even more Three Ingredient Cookies for you. Every cookie that I'm showing you today is egg free and if you go on to biggerbolderbaking.com you can see the recipe and also the calorie count for each cookie. Okay, the first one we're going to make is a three ingredient buttery shortbread. In a large bowl, add in some room temperature butter and some icing sugar and then cream these two ingredients together well. Okay, so here's a tip. Make sure your butter is at room temperature so it creams really easily with your sugar. Also, I'm using an electric hand mixer, but you can totally make this by hand. You just might need a little bit of elbow grease. Okay, this is good. It's been creaming for a few seconds. Everything is mixed up. Now we're going to add in our flour. Then take your mixer or your spatula and then just mix in the flour. Now remember, you don't want to beat flour too much or it'll make your cookies tough. So just until it's combined. There we go. Now you will see that this is a little bit soft and crumbly, but this is exactly what it's supposed to look like because we're going to bring this together with our hands on some cling wrap. So now here I have a nice big piece of cling wrap and what I'm going to do is just take my cookie dough and turn it out onto my cling wrap. Then once it's all out there nice and even, we're going to form a log or something that kind of looks like a sausage. So now this is because our dough is so soft that it's not ready to be baked off yet. So we're going to make it into this roll and then we're going to pop it into the fridge until it firms up and then it's ready to bake. So here I have some cookie dough that I actually made yesterday, so it would be ready in time for the video. I'm gonna cut these slices around three quarters of an inch thick, which is a pretty thick cookie. One question I get asked a lot is, can you freeze these cookie doughs? And yes, they freeze perfectly. And then you just bake them off and they're ready to go. Okay, great. Now these are all sliced. I'm just gonna pop them onto my tray lined with parchment paper. If you want to give them a little bit of a shape with your fingers, you can too. Okay, perfect. The one thing about these cookies, it's not only that they're three ingredients, it's that they're so fast to make, so you can whip them up in no time. Okay, these are looking great. These little beauties are ready for the oven. Bake your cookies off at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for roughly 15 minutes until they're a light golden brown. So not only do these cookies look gorgeous, but they actually smell amazing. My whole kitchen smells like butter and sugar and yummy things. So now you want to let these cookies cool for a little bit, but once they do, you can give them a taste. You know what? Sometimes it is the simplest of recipes that yield you the biggest and boldest results. And these are fantastic. They're crumbly, they're buttery. Mmm, a little mouthful of heaven. Now I'm gonna move my shortbread just over to the side a little bit. I'm not gonna forget about them because we're gonna move on to a three ingredient coconut cookie. So now if you can believe this, the next cookie that we're going to make is even simpler than the last. Into our large bowl, we're going to add in some shredded coconut. Now you can use unsweetened coconut or sweetened, that's up to you. I prefer to use unsweetened because then the next thing we're going to do is add in a little bit of sugar to add sweetness to our cookies. So the next ingredient we're going to add in is some coconut milk, not coconut water or cream, coconut milk. And this is gonna bind our cookies together. You'll notice that there's no eggs in here. There's no flour, they're gluten-free as well. Now all you want to do is just stir this mix really well together. So now don't worry, I know it looks like I only put a tiny bit of coconut milk in here, but as you stir, keep on mixing, the coconut will moisten and it will all form together in a big dough. So this is what we're looking for. I can't get over how fast it is to make this cookie. This dough is ready to be put onto our baking tray. So to shape your cookies, take a tablespoon and just get a nice scooped heap of your cookie. Then just shape it into your hand until it's kind of round and then pop it onto your baking tray lined with parchment paper. Now just continue doing this with all of your cookies. So if you make these cookies or actually any of my recipes, I've got a rating system on biggerbolderbaking.com. You can tell me what you liked about them. You can tell me if you changed something. And it's just really good for the rest of the community to see what works and what doesn't work. There's my last cookie. These guys are looking delicious already and they're not even baked off. We're gonna pop these into the oven. Bake your coconut cookies off at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for roughly 15 minutes. Our coconut cookies are out of the oven and they look so sweet and it smells lovely, kind of like a tropical flavor. So you want to let these guys just sit on your tray, cool down and they'll firm up and then they're ready to eat. So my cookies have cooled down a significant amount of time. So now I get to taste them. Oh yum, do you know what it's like? It's like a macaroon, but with like double coconut because it's a coconut milk and the shredded coconut. You start to die for. You know what? These cookies keep on getting better and better. And on that note, we're going to go ahead and move on to our next cookie, which is chocolate and banana. In a large bowl, add in your bananas and then mash them really well with a fork. 
Now I know this looks like a lot of banana, but they're actually replacing the eggs in this recipe, so you do need a lot. Once they're all smushed up like this, we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients. So in this cookie, there isn't any flour either. So what we're going to add in is cocoa powder, which obviously is flourless, and it makes your cookies really lovely and rich. And then to follow that, peanut butter. So go ahead and add that in there. And these actually are kind of high protein cookies as well. So they're good for you and they taste good too. Then all you want to do is just mix these all together until your dough is formed. Okay, so there you have it. Now we're gonna scoop it onto our baking tray. So with two teaspoons, go ahead and scoop a nice, big, generous heap of your cookie dough and then place it onto your baking tray. Just try and get them as round as you can. And then just keep on going, scooping and smushing. These cookies make around 12 and they're nice and generous. So the one thing about these cookies is that they don't bake crisp, but they actually end up being quite soft because of all the banana in them. So you're gonna store them in an airtight container for around two days, whereas the other cookies would last longer. Okay, so now I know they might not be a lot to look at right now, but when we pop them into the oven, they're gonna come out lovely. Bake these cookies off at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for roughly 15 minutes. Our little chocolate and banana cookies are done and they smell amazing. As you can see, they don't really change their shape, they just stay the same, but they just get a little bit darker. So I'm gonna give it a bit of a try. Mm. The reason I love this cookie in particular is because it's sweetened with all natural sugar. So it's a little bit kind of guilt-free and it's so fudgy and soft with all the banana and the peanut butter. I absolutely love it. It just goes to show you with three simple ingredients, you can make an array of cookies from rich chocolate to a buttery shortbread to a tropical coconut. There is something here for everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please share it with a friend. And I'll see you back here really soon for more bigger, bolder baking.